तो अब वक्त आ गया है हमारे मेहमान से आपकी मुलाकात कराने का याद रखिए अगर आप डॉक्टर मेहता से आयुर्वेदा के बारे में कोई भी बात पूछना चाहते हैं कोई भी सवाल पूछना चाहते हैं तो जल्दी से अपना फोन उठाइए और कॉल कीजिए क्योंकि डॉक्टर मेहता हमारे साथ से अगले एक घंटे तक है सो डॉक्टर मेहता वेलकम ऑन जी कंपैन इन वॉन्स अगेन थैंक यू तो सबसे पहले नताशा ने कई सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन दी अबाउट द थ्री दोषाज लेकिन आयुर्वेदा के हिसाब से हम बीमार क्यों पड़ते हैं वॉट इज द रीजन बी फॉल इन You see, in Ayurveda, we are convinced that uh, not knowing about yourself is the biggest cause of the problem. Right. If you know about yourself, then you can, you can do a lot of things to avoid that. Right. So knowing yourself is the key to the health. Right. So first of all, one should know what type of person he is. Mm -hmm. As Natasha told uh, just now, that there are three type of persons: Vata, Pitta, and Kapha. Mm -hmm. So one has to be aware of himself. Mm -hmm. That if he is Vata, it's just like a phenotype of uh, information. Mm -hmm. That all the characters, all the information we get from the person, from the pulse. That if he is Vata, then we can predict. that what type of disease is is going to get okay. we can uh, do very well prognosis that is it curable uh, if he will get that disease is, uh, if it can be cured or not mm -hmm. so if we know that is pita we can uh, just like astrologer we can write down his uh, kundli that he is going to get this type of problems this will be curable or this won't be curable right. so knowing yourself is actually where it is all about uh, preference goes to ayurveda so in ayurveda we educate our pers uh, uh, patient that uh, see this is your constitution this is your prakriti this is your nature it means that in your own nature you can be healthy happy lucky mm -hmm. and fine Hmm? Right. so you must know yourself so that for you have to go to ayurvedic doctor or you can recognize yourself Uh, the symptoms right uh, so uh, for example mm -hmm. uh, just uh, we will talk about vata mm -hmm. vata means vata is uh, uh, actually a concept of ether and air elements okay uh, if you have got air element in uh, prominence then you have to show the signs of air Right. So air is very light air is very cool air is very drying mm -hmm. so if you have got air in yourself mm -hmm. then your skin should be drying okay. you should be very light in weight okay. eh? you should be moving uh, with your ideas with the hands feet you can't sit uh, still shaad is bad nahi pao so people can identify themselves with the uh, signs of uh, air right so same is with pitta pitta is fire fire means that pitta is prominence uh, in pitta person fire is prominence mm -hmm. fire's dharma is fire's work is to burn everything mm -hmm. he can eat anything his temperament is also very hard and he can get the problems uh, what uh, mostly uh, is because of the fire fire right. will burn everything okay. so if he has got much more fire than other element his mucous membrane of the uh, of the stomach mm -hmm. of the intestine can get very easily burned and he can get ulcers okay. acidity hyperacidity just like vata will dry everything people can get itching dryness Uh, so this is actually phenotype of the um, information what we get mm -hmm. from different persons right. so uh, that is what we mostly do we after examining the patient we tell them this is your constitution okay. this you should avoid this you should take extra uh, these are the problems you can get at, at which age you will get that also we can tell okay. so if you know that these are the problems you are going to get then mm -hmm. of course you can do lot of things to avoid that Definitely. so that's the uh, uh, hand uh, upper hand what ayurveda gives to our जी पेशेंट्स जी नताशा जब बता रही थी कि आयुर्वेदिक प्रैक्टिशनर के पास अगर आप जाते हैं तो सबसे पहले आपकी पल्स एग्जामिन की जाती है जी तब उसने कहा कि स्नेक पल्स है या फिर अलग अलग टाइप के पल्स की नाम जो उसने बताया पल्स के तो वो कैसे पहचाना जाता है सिर्फ पल्स से आप कैसे पहचान सकते हैं कि क्या प्रकृति है इट्स एक्चुअली एन आर्ट ऑफ पल्स रीडिंग इट्स नॉट दैट सिंपल एज इट हैज बिन टोल्ड यू सी इफ 
uh, your pulse is containing much more air, is having much more air, then air movement is very light. Right. Uh, air you just can't hold. Right. Like snake's movement, he is uh, unpredictable. How right. he moves is light movement. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can't uh, count on him that he will take uh, like this or that or which that, goes, uh, yeah. uh, which uh, side he will go. So Pitta, Pitta is very, very sure of himself. If it's prominent in your pulse, then pulse movement is also very uh, um, prominent. Mm -hmm. It will come with a typical force. Mm -hmm. It will be there for a time and it will come with a definite uh, rhythm. Mm -hmm. yeah? So okay. it will go, it will keep a standard, it will calm down. But okay. Vata was totally different. So that's why in our classic books they have given a form that it's a Vata. Vata is like a uh, snake, okay. Pita is like a frog, and uh, Kapha is like a duck. Uh, okay. Uh, so these are, but it's not that easy. Okay. Uh, you have to uh, first know what type of movement it is and you have to interpret uh, interpre uh, that movement. So only experience can bring you that far. Absolutely. So a person should not be doing himself and he will come to wrong conclusion and thus wrong treatment and then not having good results. Right. In your opinion, in Ayurveda and Western medicine, what is the biggest difference in Ayurveda? Yeah, very, very big difference. I will tell you, in Ayurveda, we tell our patient, we educate our patient about himself and we give him responsibility. We give him responsibility to treat himself. Mm -hmm. And in the Western treatment, it's uh, totally different. Patient is dependent on the prescription of a doctor. Okay. Patient goes to doctor, doctor gives him medicines, and uh, he trusts that medicine will cure him. But it's not the case. If you have good medicine, doctor has given you good medicine. But at home, if you don't you have, have access good to food, good living style, mm -hmm. then no matter what good medicine you are having, it won't give you good results. Right. Whereas in Ayurveda, we treat, not only we are treating, we are educating him. And we are giving him the information that how he can get sick and how he can avoid that sickness. Right. What he should do, what he should don't uh, do and don't, we are telling right. him. We are educating. So that's right. a major difference. And I think that is the uh, only way to treat someone. You should educate the patient. Absolutely. You see lower middle class, uh, very uh, that look, uh, people with very, very low uh, or illiterate people, mm -hmm. they get more sick than educated one. Okay. Because they know how to keep hygiene, uh, hygienically, what they should eat, yes. the combination, uh, good vitamins. Mm -hmm. huh? So these are all living style because of the... Right. Knowledge because of the knowledge literacy. That, yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. perfect. So. I want to talk to you more about this, but we have a few callers who are waiting to talk to you. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Mehta. Hello, Mr. Mehta. Hello. Haan, ji, Z companion mein aapka swagat hai. Kya poochna chahte hai ab hamare mehman se? Hello, thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask him that I've got peripheral neuritis. Uh huh. Thank you. Mehta ji. Yeah, I got your Hello, question. Ji, Mr. Mehta, can you please switch off your television and talk to us on the phone, please? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Mm. One minute. Go ahead. Mm. The doctor has heard your question. He's answering it. Yeah. No, Mehta ji, namaskar. Well, I've got a peripheral neuritis. Yes, yes, I got and, your question. Uh, yeah. yesterday, it was my soul was burning from uh, yesterday night until uh, today. Up to five o'clock. Yeah, I will tell you, neuritis. Uh, this neuritis is actually a complication of diabetes. Are you having diabetes? Yes. Yeah. So it's because of the diabetes. Since '84. Yeah, since '84. But 84, it is under it's under control and with the yeah. tablet control. So it mostly it comes because of the diabetes. You see here, yes. in your uh, nerves are not getting good food. So good food oh. for the nerves are three very, very important vitamins. These are vitamin yes. B1, B6, B12. 
So your doctor can prescribe you Neurobion injection or Neurobion tablets. So you should ask your doctor. It should be given under the uh, only with the prescription. Your doctor should give that. He will check you. Then he will give you. And that is one of the treatment what works. And secondly, there are good fats one has to use. Good fats we call uh, like uh, in uh, our kitchen we use desi ghee, clarified butter. Mm -hmm. yeah, from cow, yes. uh, so that should be used. These are very good fats and that protects your nerves and that way you can have um, uh, benefit in your neurology. But you must go to doctor and ask for uh, ask his uh, advice, but uh, it's my advice that we will be since B12 with the name NeuroBeyond tablets or injections Neuro should be given. Yes? Ji, Mr. Mehta. Neuro ki, Dr. Saab ne kaha, aap apne GP se ye ja ki poochi hai jo inhone aapko bataya and then he can prescribe it for you. But thank you so much for calling us. I hope aapko aapki sawaal ka jawab mil gaya hoga. Ab abhaare agle caller hai Vasant. Hello Vasant. नमस्कार बेन नमस्कार जी कंपेनियन में आपका स्वागत है क्या पूछना है आपको हमारे मेहमान से हम मेहमान से ये पूछना है कि हम ठंडक ठंडा देश के अंदर रहते हैं जी तो ठंडक से उसकी जो कॉफ जो निगेटिन होती है वो कॉफ ज्यादा रहता है उनके लिए क्या करना चाहिए जी 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 इट्स वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन नमस्कार जनाब मैं आपको बताता हूँ ठंडा मुल्क है ये and uh, what best you can do for yourself is using black pepper, kala mirch. Every day, seven to eight black pepper, cor uh, black pepper seed you can swallow, or swallow with water, or just powder black pepper you should use in your food. Try it for uh, 15 days. You will see definitely difference in uh, your temperature, in body temperature, as well as black pepper is very, very anti-kapha, very, very good for kapha disease. Mm -hmm. Kapha is ama, um, kapha, slime, bulgum, whatsoever you throw out mm -hmm. or from your lungs. So it will, um, uh, it will destroy that. It will right. burn that. So it's okay. very, very good. Try that in your food. There should be enough. Uh, black pepper juice. Yeah? All right, Vasant. I hope you have got your question answered. Thank you so much for calling us today. Thank you. Now, our phone is with us, Dinesh. Hello, Dinesh. Hello, Sujata. Hello, Doctor. Hi, Dinesh. Uh, thank companion. you. Already answered my question a little bit. Ji. Um, I, I wanted to ask the doctor, what is the quick fix remedy for cough? For cough. And why I am prone to cough? I get cough at least once every year. Yeah. Why is that? You see, in cold countries like England, Holland, and uh, Europe, a uh, lot of people, they are having carpets and uh, the houses are closed, no ventilation, and more mm -hmm. carpets we are using. And at the top of that, we are having dogs, cats, and things like that, you know. People are more allergic to host of mite. So that is one very, very obvious reason behind that. So that should be avoided. You should not be using vacuum cleaner because with vacuum cleaner you take that dust and bring it into the air and that you breathe and your uh, lungs and all the flowers are getting uh, allergic to that and right. producing bit slime, uh, bit cough. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, one reason. So what you should do, you should take a little bit oil in your hand when you are washing yourself and oil, uh, tilka tail, what we call that uh, sesame oil. So sesame oil you should take with your finger and just an uh, uh, oil your uh, nasal, uh, give coating of your oil. Huh? Okay. So you take oil and just uh, stop it like this. Huh? Take it and inhale it. So this will give it a very thin layer of oil on your mucous membrane. Then the small particle won't touch and won't produce cough. Mm -hmm. So this is what you can do, and in a house you should not be using vacuum cleaner, you should use uh, wet cloth to take that okay. dust off from uh, the floors and things like that. So this is very good, and besides that you should avoid taking curd, the yogurt what we call, and uh, excess, uh, extra use of black pepper will help you certainly for your cough, what you are having every year. All right, Dinesh, I hope that answered your question. Thank you so much for calling us today. Thank you. 
अब हमारी अगली कॉलर है राधिका हेलो राधिका हेलो मैम हाय वेलकम टू जी कंपेनियन राधिका क्या पूछना चाहती है हमारे मेहमान से होल्ड ऑन मैं मैं पूछना चाहती हूँ मेरे हाथ मेरे लेफ्ट पल्स में काफी दिनों से सूजन है राइट तो इसलिए मैं डॉक्टर साहब से पूछना चाहती थी कि मेरे लिए कुछ कर सकता है या नहीं क्योंकि मैं डॉक्टर के पास बहुत गई हूँ यहाँ हॉलैंड में और कोई भी डॉक्टर मेरे लिए कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता सेकंड ओपिनियन के लिए भी गई हूँ पर रिजल्ट कुछ भी नहीं है अच्छा तो लेफ्ट पल्स आप कहते हैं इन हॉलैंड आई वुड सी इफ यू प्लीज कम देन आई कैन टेल यू बेटर आंसर बट मोस्टली इट्स कार्पोस्टर सिंड्रोम सो दैट इज रेपिटेशन यूज ऑफ योर पल्स रिस्ट इफ यू आर यूज लाइक टाइपिंग होल डे इफ यू आर क्लीनिंग एंड यूजिंग रेपिटेटिवली रिस्ट दैट कॉज दिस प्रॉब्लम सो बेसिकली दिस इज न्यूरोपैथी सॉर्ट ऑफ डिजीज so what we should uh, what we should do most is you should uh, uh, give it complete rest you should not be using this quite often give it 15 20 days complete rest and you should to, uh, use other hand and rest we give anti inflammatory uh, drugs uh, like boswellia you can buy anywhere on the internet boswellia uh, that is shalaki in hindi they call it shalaki it's very good anti inflammatory it's a natural product you can take it for a long period 3 to 6 month is needed and uh, avoid using your left wrist that will help it yes all right perfect radhika i hope that answered your question thank you so much for calling us today thank you ab uh, uh, doctor we have a few more callers who are waiting to talk to you oh sure hello mohinder oh hello ji हाय वेलकम टू जी कंपेनियन आपको नमस्कार डॉक्टर साहब को भी नमस्कार जनाब हां जी मेरा बोलूं मैं जी 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 पूछ लीजिए हां जी मेरा ना एक महीने और के बाद ना मेरी आवाज रफ हो जाती है और दो तीन दिन के बाद फिर दो तीन दिन के बाद ठीक हो जाती है मैं रोज की गोलियां भी लेती हूं पर मैंने फिर रिसेंटली थायराइड का ब्लड टेस्ट कराया वो कहते हैं कि ठीक आ रहा है तो इसका पता नहीं भी वजह क्या है आप मुझे बताएंगे जी 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 थायराइड का इसके साथ कोई भी कनेक्शन <coughs> नहीं है ये तो है कि अगर हम रॉन्गली इसको यूज करते हैं अपने जो हमारे जो, जो आ, आ, वोकल कॉर्ड्स हैं।, हैं उसको अगर हम गलत ढंग से यूज करते हैं ज्यादा ऊंचा गाते हैं कम या चिल्लाते हैं बहुत ऊंचा ऊंचा बोलना पड़ता है कई प्रोफेशन में तो दिस इज ओनली इट्स रॉन्गली यूज ऑफ योर वोकल कॉर्ड्स तो इसमें ये बात तो नहीं की मैं ऊंचा बोलूँ या कोई ऐसी वजह हुई नहीं मेरे साथ अच्छा, पता नहीं तो चलो सेकंड रीजन बिहाइंड दिस इज कैन बी एलर्जी दैट यू आर एलर्जिक टू समथिंग तो अपने घर में खाने पीने में आप इसका ख्याल रख सकते हैं और तीसरी चीज योगट इसको अवॉइड करना चाहिए आपको योगट दही और सबसे अच्छा इलाज इसका मैं बताता हूँ इसके लिए एक नस्या एक ट्रीटमेंट होता है ट्रीटमेंट थ्रू द नोज नोज सेल्स सो यू कैन बाई फ्रॉम एनी शॉप हियर इन इंग्लैंड शड बिंदु ऑयल तेल होता है ये दवाइयों के साथ तो बोलेंगे जी हाँ शड बिंदु शड मीन्स बिंदु हाँ सिक्स ड्रॉप्स ऑयल शड बिंदु ऑयल वो आप तेल खरीदिए और अपने हर नोज तेल में दो तीन ड्रॉप्स डालिए तीन इधर तीन इधर और उसको अच्छे से स्नफ करिए इनहेल करिए सो दैट ऑल शुड ट्रेवल ऑल द वे एंड इट शुड कम हेयर सो इट नोज में डालने जी जी तीन तीन ड्रॉप दोनों और डोंट डू इट आउट जस्ट आफ्टर हैविंग लंच और डिनर ये डेढ़ दो ढाई घंटे के बाद जब खाना बिल्कुल नीचे आ जाए तो देन यू शुड यस try this okay. and uh, tell me next month what you have done my pleasure my pleasure all right anji thank you very much okay ji all right mohinder thank you so much for calling us thank you सर डॉक्टर आप बता रहे थे कि अलग अलग तरीके से आपने कहा कि ठंडे एटमॉस्फेयर में काली में काली मेरियज इन ब्लैक पेपर खाना बहुत अच्छा है सो अदर देन दैट और कौन सी ऐसी चीजें हैं जो लोग खा सकते हैं जस्ट फॉर ओवरऑल हेल्थ नॉट स्पेसिफिकली बिकॉज ऑफ द कोल्ड लेकिन ठंडे मौसम में क्या खाना चाहिए 
देखिए ठंडा मौसम इट्स अगेन इट्स वेरी पर्सनलाइज ट्रीटमेंट इन आयुर्वेदा वी कैंट डू दिस गुड फॉर एवरी वन वी डोंट डू दैट इट्स पर्सनलाइज वी हैव टू टेल ओनली पीपल दोज हु आर हैविंग कोल्ड दे शुड टेक समथिंग वार्मिंग पीपल दोज हु आर हैविंग समथिंग वार्म दे शुड टेक समथिंग कूलिंग स्टाव सो इट्स जस्ट अपोजिट वर्ड्स एवर यू आर हैविंग वी शुड take just opposite to that Have, having cold take warm if you are having warm take cold so that's why awareness is the answer of the problem <laughs> we have to know the person right. but in general i will tell you what we should do in ayurved ayurved is of belief that one should use six days as natasha told you in the fact right. that complete food one should have right. our complete food uh is of six taste so you don't have any right to avoid salt sugar astringent bitter so all have a particular job to do in our body so try to incorporate all the six taste in your uh, you can divide it of course in breakfast you can take two three you can take in lunch two three huh? so that way you can divide don't have to be in one uh, meal all right. the other so that's very good and don't forget to take uh, good fats lot of people they are having uh, in uh, their kitchen only sunflower oil or mm-hmm. cocos oil i am very very against cocos oil because cocos oil should be used only in the tropical countries okay. tropical countries where temperature is hot we should use Uh, something cold right so cocos uh, coconut oil is of cooling properties right <coughs> so does also sunflower oil is also of cooling right. but we are living in cold country so you should avoid then sunflower oil and coconut oil so best oil what we should use here in europe western part of the europe is olive oil right number one oil and then you can use uh, uh how you say mustard oil that right. can be but mustard we don't recommend to everyone because after using for a uh, 3 4 5 weeks mm-hmm. you can get problems in the stomach right. so til ka tel sesame oil is very very good Perfect. and besides that you can take ghee right huh? so these are good things what everybody can do perfect thank you so much you know i have bobby who is waiting to talk to you yes hello bobby हेलो नमस्कार मेहता जी एंड नताशा जी वंस अगेन अ ग्रेट वंडरफुल वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्रोग्राम मेरा क्वेश्चन तीन पार्ट में है पहले तो मैं पूछना चाहता हूं कि इज आयुर्वेद रेकग्नाइज बाय द एनएचएस एंड सो इफ आई हैड अ रेफरल फ्रॉम माय डॉक्टर आई गॉट प्राइवेट हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस गुड आई कम एंड सी मेहता जी फॉर एग्जाम्पल Uh, that's my first question secondly uh, mera jo hereditary hamare jo gala hai hamari family mein wo kafi weak hai usko mazboot karne ke liye aap kya recommend karte hain aur uh, thirdly haldi matlab uh, haldi is supposed to be the the wonder cure for everything what does ayurveda have to say regarding the use of haldi and kitni use karni chahiye aur matlab uh, kitni limit mein use karni chahiye ye ye mera sawal hai तो आपका पहला क्वेश्चन जनाब कि हॉलैंड मैं हॉलैंड में काम करता हूं आई डोंट नो अबाउट इंग्लैंड सो दैट यू हैव टू आस्क समवेयर ही समवन वी हु इज प्रैक्टिसिंग हियर आई डोंट नो अबाउट द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन हियर सेकंड क्वेश्चन दैट दैट वाज क्वेश्चन सेकंड या थ्रोट फॉर थ्रोट यू शुड गिव रेस्ट प्रॉपर रेस्ट रू एंड यूज नो स्टेल ट्रीटमेंट बट आई एक्सप्लेन टू प्रीवियस uh patient have that having oil through the nose is very good for the uh, throat and uh, secondly yash uh, uh, how we call that madhu yashti madhu yashti is glizra glabra glizra glabra means mulatti huh? that is mulatti there is a latin name of that mulatti you should chew there so that juice of mulatti should uh, uh, pass through your uh, uh, vocal cords so that's very very good thing hum chai mein lete hain malatti lete hain hum chai mein ha ha to is that is that the best way of taking malatti malatti you should uh, chew just like pan or things like that so that juice of that should uh, be there for a while and uh, third question yours was about the kurkuma haldi you see there's a lot of people they are using kurkuma 
and uh, not in good dose. Uh, you asked for about the dose. Proper dose for this is uh, two to three gram every day in milk, something um, sweet. Well, milk is sweet. You don't have to put sugar. Milk on its own is sweet. So it's very wrong. It's astringent. Astringent has to be taken in the milk. It's golden shake, what they call. You should take two to three grams. But again, one very, very good information I'm going to give you, that haldi is angiogenesis. Angiogenesis will, uh, means that it's going to destroy all the new made vessels. What in the cancer, uh, it happens. A cancer cell grew, grows by per, uh, making new blood vessels. So uh, curcuma or haldi, that destroys. That's why it's very, very good in cancer treatment. So same uh, treatment, if you are taking haldi for a longer period, it's not good for our blood vessels. The good blood vessels will also get constricted. So people on age, about above 70, they should not be taking that much haldi every day because then they will uh, feel something wrong with their breaths. Mm -hmm. huh? They uh, with their, uh, it's not good it's because not. it will constrict all that yeah. ways. So take always this type of treatment. Two months, one month you should avoid. Take two months, one should one month you should avoid like that unless until it's prescribed by the doctor, unless until you have got that particular problem, then you should take for a longer period. Otherwise, in our kitchen, we use haldi every day. Right. So that is the best way, or take golden shake, what I said, they're putting haldi in milk. Huh? So that's the best way. I hope you have got the answers. All right, perfect, Bobby. I hope you've got the answer to your question. Thank you so much for calling us today. मैं आप सबको इतना ही बताना चाहूँगी कि डॉक्टर साहब आपकी पूरी मेडिकल हिस्ट्री ठीक से नहीं जानते। इसीलिए कोई भी कदम उठाने से पहले एक बार अपनी जीपी से बात जरूर कर लीजिएगा। फिलहाल हम जा रहे हैं एक छोटे से ब्रेक में। कहीं भी मत जाइएगा, देखते रहिएगा Z Companion। के बाद जी कंपेनियन में आप सब का दुबारा स्वागत है। आज के शो में हम बात कर रहे हैं आयुर्वेदा के बारे में और हमारे साथ स्टूड में मौजूद है डॉक्टर मेहता। तो अगर आप कौन से कोई भी सवाल पूछने हैं तो जल्दी से अपना फोन उठाइए और हमें कॉल कीजिए। सर डॉक्टर वेलकम टू द सेकंड आफ ऑफ द शो। so, before I talk to you, we have a lot of callers who are waiting to talk to you. So let's go straight to the callers. Oh, sure, sure. Hello, Madhu. Hello. Hi, Madhu. Welcome to Sea Companion. What do you want to ask our guest? I want to talk to Dr. Saab on behalf of my husband. Yes, go ahead. He's listening to you. Yes, go ahead. Because he's going to have an acidity problem. Yes. So, I want to ask Dr. Saab to ask him what he wants to do for him. Yes. Look, acidity actually is because of wrong combination of the food, first of all, or overeating. They give them a little bit. In place of four roti, give three rotis. A little bit be left behind on in the plate. He should not take all that food what you are giving. And secondly, dinner should not be after 7, 7.30. Maximum, so that he gets two, three hours uh, before going to bed, he can move a uh, little bit and it can digest food. And combination is very, very important in this. So fried food, deep fried food in the oil is not good. So uh, meat, protein, heavy protein is not good. So what we say in Ayurveda, that your uh, breakfast should be like the king. It should be heavy. Lunch also can be heavy, but dinner should not be that uh, heavy. Dinner should be very, very light, easy digestible. Khichdi, chawal, little bit dal, then no meat, no heavy proteins. So that you can shift to lunch, heavy proteins. Protein is cheese, meat, 
dal, urad ka dal, chane ka dal, things like that. Mm -hmm. So that you should do. And very good treatment for acidity is milk. Milk is antacid. It's sweet in nature. So two, three times a day, just three, four sips. So one half cup of milk he should take on different intervals. Yes, milk. Yes, yes, yes. और अगर उससे नहीं होता रात को सोने के टाइम एक गिलास आधा एक कप दूध का पीना चाहिए और अदरवाइज सोडा बाई कार्बोनेट इज वेरी गुड मुलट्ठी इज वेरी गुड दैट सोडा बाई कार्बोनेट यू कैन बाई फ्रॉम एनी ड्रगिस्ट एंड टेक टू थ्री ग्राम्स ऑफ दैट इन हाफ ग्लास ऑफ वाटर एंड ही कैन टेक दैट सो दीज आर वेरी गुड एंड मेडिसिन आमला इज वेरी वेरी गुड आमल की Amla, yeah. you can buy from any shop here. He should, he should use that. And uh, Yashti Madhu, I told already, Mulatti is very, very good. Perfect. So this type of things can be taken. Perfect. Otherwise, consult your doctor. All right, Madhu. I hope that answered your question. Thank you so much for calling us today. Thank you. Now, we are with our phone, Mr. Patel. Hello, Mr. Patel. Hello, Mr. Patel. हेलो मिस्टर पटेल क्या आपको सुनाई दे रहा है अच्छा कैन आई स्पीक टू डॉक्टर यस ही इज लिसनिंग टू यू गो अहेड आस्क हिम योर क्वेश्चन अच्छा डॉक्टर साहब जी जनाब मेरे को नींद नहीं आता है रात को हम जाग जाता है आधा कल लग सोता है और जाग जाता है जबक जाता है अच्छा कोई मेडिसिन्स ले रहे हैं आप मेडिसिन ले रहे हैं कोई वो मेरे मेडिसिन वो ब्लड प्रेशर का है हाँ हाँ वो डायबिटीज ऐसा नहीं है हाँ हाँ सो इट कैन बी एट टाइम्स इट कैन बी कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ सम मेडिसिन आल्सो बट ट्राई टू लर्न मेडिटेशन एट टाइम एट नाइट यू शुड मेडिटेट यू शुड लर्न हाउ टू मेडिटेट मेडिटेशन मींस दैट कंसंट्रेटिंग योर माइंड on one uh -huh. point so that mind should not go here and there because uh -huh. sleep means that there is nothing to do for the mind only then you uh -huh. fall in sleep basically we fall uh -huh. only in sleep when mind uh -huh. is not busy with anything so we have to create an atmosphere that mind uh -huh. has nothing to do at that time so that's why right. we do meditation in meditation we learn to avoid all the ideas coming in our mind we are focusing on one mind and that uh, uh, that type of uh, environment that will bring you in sleep so okay. this very uh, i will give you very simple trick you should count 89 back to 11 89 88 87 86 you are concentrating on one it doesn't cost you much energy so you are counting back it is possible that in half way you fall in sleep so try this otherwise in medicine we give warm milk look warm milk before going to bed because milk is sweet giving blood sugar uh, it in, uh, gives adequate sugar to your mind food to your mind you fall asleep Fantastic. so try this otherwise oiling your head once uh, once in 2 3 days putting oil in the nose is very very good treatment for this this so take sarso ka tel that also you can put in the nose or by anu oli a n u anu oil few drops in the nose that will give your mind very stable feel huh? you will fall easily in sleep so try that all right mr patel i hope that answered your question thank you so much for calling us today thank you अब हमारे अगले कॉलर है जावेद हेलो जावेद हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग जी कंपेनियन में आपका स्वागत है क्या पूछना है आपको हमारे मेहमान से डॉक्टर साहब से ये पूछना चाहता हूँ कि मेरा हार्ट बाईपास हुआ था क्वाइट ए फ्यू इयर्स अगो उस दिन उन्होंने गोली दी थी आमिड्रॉन इसकी वजह से मेरी लंग्स जब इंजरी हुई उनको पता चला तो उन्होंने गोली रोक दी लेकिन फाइब्रोसिस ऑफ द लंग जो हो गया तो मैं डॉक्टर साहब से पूछना चाहता हूँ क्या इसमें आयुर्वेदिक में उसका कोई इलाज है 
So you see, it's a very, very delicate question you are asking about the heart, and you have stopped taking that medicines. I won't be able to guide you anything without checking you. So it's better to go to your GP or cardiologist. He will be able to guide you because without check, it's a very, very delicate organ. So I have to see so only that. I just wanted to know whether there is a cure for. Mm -hmm. uh, fibrosis of the lungs in Ayurvedic. Uh, fibrosis then in lungs. Uh, yeah. You see, uh, what, uh, you, it's better to go to doctor, but uh, you should avoid taking few things. I can guide you. In fibrosis, yogurt is very, uh, yogurt you should not be using, banana you should not be using, and just increase your capacity to walk. Huh? So that you should, uh, you should do. Every day walk a half a kilometer uh, uh, without stop. But then increase it uh, gradually, take fresh air. So only increasing uh, capacity of your lungs, that will help. But otherwise, what I told you, that's, uh, that would be good for you to go to GP. Because this, without checking, we should not be giving you any medicine. Perfect. Hmm? All right, Javed, I hope that answered your question. Thank you so much for calling us today. Thank you. Now, we are with our phone. Hello, Chandrika. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Chandrika. Good evening. Can I speak to Dr. Yes, go ahead. You can ask your question. He's listening to you. Hi, Dr. Mehta. Good evening. Yes, Namaskar. 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 Tell me. I wanted to ask about my husband. He's got... Doctor says he's got reflux, but uh, what he's feeling is when he eats, there's a lot of air in his stomach. There's, he feels bloated, and the air doesn't come out of his system. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the doctor says he gave him Nexium to yeah. uh, drink. Yeah, and that now is Nexium antacid, is helping yes. for a short while now until mm -hmm. he has a scan. Yeah, you see, it's acid-producing. For lifelong, you know? Yeah. So, so I would what, tell you... Uh, what can we do? Yeah. You can do a lot of things yourself at home. So you should avoid giving him anything raw. Salad, you should stop giving. No salads salad. at all. And food should be not more than 80%. In place, place of three bread pieces, you should give him two pieces. Uh, milk, I told earlier, that bit, uh, half cup of milk, you should give on different intervals after two, three hours every day. Two to three times a day, you should give that. And in your food, you should use a hing. Hing. Uh -huh. Asa futida, we yeah, call yeah, that. I do use, yeah. Uh, but uh, better than that, you can buy from any uh, Ayurvedic store, hing vashtak churna, uh, hing vashtak powder. Or they have got also tablets of Hingvashtak. So that you should give, and uh, it's going to help. But otherwise, avoiding raw food and cold food and overeating, that is going to help in this case. And uh, soda bicarbonate, I told earlier, that's uh, going to help. Amla powder is going to help. Amla, you, you can certainly give him. Amla ki is very good antacid. It will. Uh, stop producing more acid and uh, food will be digested easily yeah, so that you can try okay. and the bicarb what do you drink that with yeah soda bicarbonate you can buy anywhere and two to three grams in a little bit of water you can um, stir and uh, give him to drink Perfect. that can be given yeah all right chandrika i hope that answered your question thank you so much for calling us today thank you अब हमारी अगली कॉलर है मिसेस कुरेशी हेलो मिसेस कुरेशी हेलो मिसेस कुरेशी मिसेस कुरेशी क्या आप अपना टेलीविजन सेट बंद कर सकती हैं प्लीज हेलो हेलो मिसेस कुरेशी हाँ जी जी आप अपना टेलीविजन सेट बंद कर सकती हैं प्लीज फोन पे हमसे बात कीजिए हाँ जी जी आप क्या पूछना चाहती हैं हमारे मेहमान से हाँ जी मैंने डॉक्टर साहब से ये पूछना है कि मेरे अस्पताल जो हैं उनका 
मिसेस कुरेशी आप प्लीज फोन पे बात करेंगी हमें कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है मैंने डॉक्टर साहब से ये पूछ रहा है मेरे हस्बैंड जो हैं उनका गला बैठा हुआ है वो ठीक तरह से बात नहीं कर सकते तो उनके लिए सडनली हुआ है एक दिन में तो इसके लिए कुछ बता सकते हैं आप जी ये ईएनटी स्पेशलिज्म का काम है डॉक्टर ईएनटी स्पेशलिस्ट के पास जाना चाहिए कि क्या हुआ है Mostly it's because of rhinitis. अगर उनको जुकाम लगा होगा लंबे टाइम के लिए तो it can go to ear and it can come here in your throat. So something anti-allergic you should give. Anti-allergic that is a syrish. Syrish you can buy from any drug store here. And giving oil, I told so many patients already that shad bindu oil. <coughs> Sorry. Shad bindu oil you can buy from any drugstore and giving through the nose so that oil should travel to your throat and it's going to help. So take anti-allergic sirish and shad bindu oil through the nose that will help. Right. Yeah? Perfect. All right, Mrs. Qureshi, thank you so much for calling us today. Thank you. Now we are with our phone, Mr. Chopra. Hello, Mr. Chopra. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. 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 जी जनाब चोपड़ा साहब नमस्कार जी नमस्कार जनाब बात डॉक्टर साहब मैंने आपसे पूछना था कि दस थोड़ा टाइम तो आप देंगे ना जी 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 जनाब तो दस साल पहले कोई दस दस साल पहले को मेरा ऑपरेशन हुआ था इसमें पेट में से इंटरस्टाइन में से उन्होंने कुछ ऐसे गोला के साथ निकाला था जो ब्लीड कर रहा था जी तो उसके बाद दस साल हो गए हैं और डॉक्टर ने बोला था कि भी तुमको कॉन्स्टिपेशन रहेगा या कभी कभी डायरिया होएगा ऐसा ऐसा तो वो भी कॉल जैसी दवाई ऐसे ये यूज करना और ये तो चलता रहा काम को हेल्थ इतनी खराब नहीं हुई फिर मैं हेल्थ वापस आ गई तो उसके बाद कोई कोई द सुन रहे हैं आप जी 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 हाँ जी दो साल हो गए हैं तो मेरा वेट जो है वो ऐसा ऐसा कम होना शुरू हो गया अच्छा तो मैं मेरी उम्र है कोई बयासी साल के करीब अच्छा जनाब हाँ तो अब ये था कि पेट में कब मतलब पेट में अब थोड़ा मोटा था मैं तो ऊपर जो है रिब्स के नीचे एक छोटी सी I will tell you, Chopra sahab, I got your question. I understand what is happening. This is the problem of diarrhea or constipation. It is IBS, Irritated Bowel Syndrome. After the operation, your intestines are irritated. That is why there is constipation. That is why your vision is reduced. So, this is a very simple thing to do with your vision. तो आपको बड़े सिंपल एक घर का एक एक इलाज बता रहा हूँ आप कहीं से भी ईसब गोल खरीदिए ईसब गोल मिल जाएगा हर अपना इंडियन ड्रग स्टोर ग्रोसरी से मिल जाएगा आपको प्लंटागो और वाटा बोलते हैं उसको प्लंटागो और वाटा और और सीलियम हस्क वो भी उसका नाम है तो वो आप हर रोज 50 ग्राम 50 से 100 ग्राम दही लीजिए उस दस पंद्रह मिलीलीटर पानी डालिए और पंद्रह मिली एक बड़ा चम्मच ये सब गोल्ड का डालिए और लेट इट बी देयर फॉर टेन मिनट्स फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स तो ये आपको हर रोज खाना खाना खाने के बाद लंच के बाद लीजिए या डिनर के बाद लीजिए तो यू आर गोइंग टू फील डिफरेंस सर्टेनली विद इन वन वीक तो ये आप करके देखिए इससे आपकी एब्जॉर्प्शन अच्छी होगी ऑल द टॉक्सिन्स फ्रॉम योर इंटरेस्टेड यू विल बी रेडिकेटिंग एवरीडे एंड यू विल फील फ्रेश एंड मोर एनर्जेटिक सो वेरी वेरी सिंपल थिंग आई हैव टोल्ड यू एंड अवॉइड टेकिंग रॉ फूड सो दैट आल्सो यू शुड डू यस चोपड़ा साहब यू आर गोइंग टू हैव गुड हेल्थ विद दिस All right, Mr. Chopra, I hope that answered your question. I just want to say that before taking any product, first of all, you should have to talk to your GP once again. But thank you so much for calling us today. Now, our next caller is Meena. Hello, Meena. Hello. Hi, Meena. Welcome to Z Companion. Hi, Meena. 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 Hi,
पेन है तीन चार साल से है की हो की शोल्डर का करा है मगर तो भी मेरा हाथ में जाता नहीं है और मैं खाती हूँ कि पीती हूँ तो भी मेरा एल्बो में अपर आम ऐसे पेन होता है जास्ती पेन होता है हेलो जी 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 मैं सुन रहा हूँ मैं सुन रहा हूँ आप पेन होता है रात को सो नहीं सकती हूँ साइड में दोनों साइड में भी और शोल्डर ब्लेड में भी पेन जाती होता है तो वो लोग ने हमको पेन किलर दिया है अगर जब खाते हैं तीन चार साल तीन चार घंटा अच्छा लगता है फिर वो जी 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 अभी ग्राफ लगे तो भी एकदम मैं समझ गया आपकी प्रॉब्लम मैं आपकी प्रॉब्लम समझ गया हूँ आप ये सोचिए दिस इज एक्चुअली पोस्टर प्रॉब्लम मोस्टली इट कम्स बिकॉज ऑफ योर पोस्टर कि आप किस ढंग से बैठते हो आप किस ढंग से अपने सिर को अपने शोल्डर्स पे रखते हैं लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल सीट लाइक दिस और सीट लाइक दिस और दिस वे सो दीज आर आर पोस्टर प्रॉब्लम नॉट ओनली मेडिसिन इज नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प ओनली यू हैव टू गो टू फिजियोथेरापिस्ट ही इज गोइंग टू एडजस्ट इट ही इज गोइंग टू मेनिपुलेट इट ही इज गोइंग टू ओपन इट सो दैट ऑल द नर्व वट आर डिप्रेस बिकॉज ऑफ योर पोस्टर गेट फ्री एंड सर्कुलेशन इज गेट गेटिंग बेटर सो इन योर नेबरहुड यू शुड सर्च फॉर अ फिजियोथेरापिस्ट एंड यू विल सी दैट दैट विल हेल्प यू अदरवाइज आई कैन गिव यू फ्यू एक्सरसाइजेज एक्सरसाइजेज दैट यू हैव टू यूज योर शोल्डर clockwise 10 time and then anti clockwise 10 time hmm? and or just bringing your uh, 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 this arm and just counting slow motion baby step we call 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 hmm? Hmm? To, uh, on the uh, wall right hmm? okay so just just stand one feet from the wall this is wall and just bringing a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 That. so you have to increase that level every day you should mark where you have reached and then next day you should try to bring it your hand 1 inch further so yeah. that way you are going to use those muscles what you are not using every day right. so that way it will get strengthened and you will feel better so go to physiotherapy the therapist that's the best advice i can give you and he will educate you how to use your muscles better all right perfect all right nina thank you so much for calling us today i hope that answered your question thank you so doctor we're almost at the end of the show what what would you like to say we have about 1 minute so what would you like to say to our viewers as the tip of the day for overall good health according to ayurveda so they should uh, make a good research of themselves Mm -hmm. what constitution they are when they are feeling good when they are not feeling good what is good food for them they should go uh, they should discover they should rediscover themselves right so this is their responsibility they should be taking that they should not be dependent on any doctor they right. first it's their own duty so that's what i can guide them right perfect doctor thank you so much for being with us today it was an absolute pleasure talking to my you my pleasure and thanks to all the viewers